Akiva in Varshala was a historic event. Incredible. The people we could meet there, their efforts, their life, their lifestyles, their responsibility, their care. It was so intense and all together they came for four day meditation. Four day of prayer and listening to the ancient wisdoms as they were revealed by the grandfathers and grandmothers, the Mamus, Taitas, so many names they have. But in the essence of all, they came together to share with their deepest concern and inspiration what we have to obey to if we want to reverse the tide of this world which is going now. And they founded the United Nations of the Spirit. Los pueblos ancestrales originarios y nativos mestizos que aquí nos encontramos reunidos repetimos de manera enfática no y decimos a la Madre Tierra y al Espíritu nos declaramos las Naciones Unidas del Espíritu Natura Gente, así sea. Así sea. Hey, hey, oh, yeah. What a name. United Nations of the Spirit. Yes, we are the United Nations because we are all united by the same Creator who cares for each and every one of us. The United Nations of the Spirit means the spiritual United Nations. It means where we have the spirit of loving each other. That's where is the United Nations and caring for the planet and the animals and so many aspects. Of course, the United Nations there in New York, they have many great endeavors and ideals, but they are dominated by many interests and powers which are not united at all. Therefore, we need the United Nations of the Spirit. Otherwise, what would be the use? We would just go to New York and participate. But that's not something which will give hope to the world because they've had a long time to straighten out the situation and stop the wars and, and protect the environment and to do anything serious about this. But now our senior grandfathers and grandmothers who came together in Varshana and who created the United Nations of the Spirit with the backing of all the, the, the great voices of Ikvashenduna, the World Conscious Pack, the efforts made by many organizations who are struggling for the welfare of the world, uniting all of them, this will give actually an authoritative help for all those who are still in doubt about what's the right and what's the wrong in all these type of behaviors we have to choose nowadays. So, this is our experience here. Now you can also hear what others have to say about their experience in the Kiva. In this moment we are celebrating the renovation of this Constitution Universal so that one day we will be able to enjoy the creation of the Father without destroying, without exploiting, sin contaminar, sin apropiar, porque nadie no es dueño de las cosas, ni nosotros no somos dueños de la vida. The Kiva is the temple of the heart of Mother Earth. It was designed by Huicholi natives and it was constructed in Varshana, Colombia, in the heart of a yoga ashram, just after the university, 
the National University of Colombia denied the natives to make this temple as it had previously been planned in the university ground. Then it was shifted to this yoga community and we had the chance to be there and to cater all the event by cooking very delicious vegetarian food for all the participants who were very, very highly appreciated. Thank you very much and come and visit the Kiva because even though the natural cycle of four years has entered, it was decided by the elders that the Kiva in Varshana should go on and on the solstice and equinox places, moments, we will still every year remember this incredible event and also serve the local community with our facilities so that this love and concern for the world can spread further from here, but it should actually spread from your heart everywhere you go. Then you understand the United Nations of the Spirit. Be in the Spirit. Be united. Be one of all the nations. This is called the Union of Tribes. This is the tradition of all those who have care and concern for the others beyond the walls of their own private world. Alle, 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 alle,